wow, you know, I just can't believe. How can the American uh, electorate be this dumb? You know, are them after everything, after these people have looted the United States, have destroyed, you know, Latin America, the Balkans, the, the Middle East, their, their, their swath of destruction, the amount of loot that they have amassed, their absolute uh, denigration of everyone else as some sort of inferior to their gangster, you know, to their gangster elite. And these are gangsters, you know, these are, let's make it very clear, these are, uh, you know, Hillary from Chicago, a you know, lawyer, bad lawyer for gangsters and all that, you know, so Bill Clinton, famous, famously uncle who was a gangster, these are criminals. Son okay? of, uh, yeah, Winth- son gangsters. of, is the son of Winthrop Rockefeller, and very few yeah. people He'll understand that. Yeah. yeah. The illegitimate <laughs> son of Winthrop Rockefeller, and, right. you know, and all the people who talk about the you know, carbon, uh, the Rockefellers for the big coal mining, you know, uh, the coal miners, you know. So, uh, you know, the hypocrisy and all of the astounding. And what can I say? You know, I, I would have liked to have seen either Bernie or Donald Trump, either one of them uh, as an anti-establishment candidate, push forward. Bernie obviously caved in for whatever reason. So I think he was beaten and, and, uh, the yeah, night before he, he endorsed Biden. Both, yeah. both candidates have expressed doubts in nuclear power. Okay, they both have expressed some doubt in nuclear mm-hmm. power. Mm-hmm. So that gives us at least a ray of hope, whereas the Clinton has never addressed the issue, never will. Uh, she's tied no, in with no. Al Gore, who is uh, definitely a, a product of nuclear power. So. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, we, we've got, we, we, as I've said, we are at the final crossroads. It's not an exaggeration. It's not an over-dramatization. It's not alarmism. It's the truth. They're going to throw this. They're going to fix this election. I said last uh, first hour tonight, Yoshi, uh, oh, and let's bring on Dana Durnford. Dana, are you there? I, you weren't here at the top. Now, there yeah. he is. Yeah, I just got in the door. I just got back from, uh, okay. I had to go to court today, right? All right, well, we That's want to hear about that in a couple minutes. Yeah, I mentioned in the first hour tonight, uh, Hillary's health is so bad that she's taking weekends off now. She is so afraid of the media. She will not hold a press conference because her health will. She may have a seizure. She's got to be scared to death of Donald Trump, who survived one assassination attempt and maybe two. The first 19 year old kid who was trying to grab the cop's gun, obviously uh-huh. a mind control candidate. Uh, we uh-huh. are looking at an issue here that is is so grim uh, I just, I just don't have words for it. Uh, it, it's just, it's amazing. Anyway, Dana, tell yeah, us about well, your day. Uh, go ahead, Yoshi. Then we'll get to Dana. Just want to know. We, uh, we suspected you were in court. That's why you were late. So, how was your day in court, Dana? Uh, I didn't make it. Uh, broke down last night on the highway at 120. Got the rear end on fire. Uh, yeah, it looks oh, like I was, no. it looks like I was sabotaged. Or did they put out a warrant for your arrest or anything? Not surprising. Can you describe a little more your uh, so-called accident? Yeah. Uh, Uh, Why don't you describe a little more detail? What I decided to do, um, because they they barred me from using bananas, potato chips, and walking in sunshine. They barred me from having expert witnesses. They barred me from using the videos that I'm charged with, and et cetera, et cetera. So I decided I was going to bring down uh, the Intrepid, my boat, and it has a nuclear mm-hmm. proctologist.org on the side. And I know a lot yeah. of the judges got their windows uh, on that side of the, the street. And so, uh, okay. So you I was going to be there for 6, yeah, I was gonna be there for 6.30 a.m. And then everybody coming, all the judges and prosecutors would have to walk past the door. Sure. And, you yeah. know, it's, it stands out, right? It's, it's a hardcore. That's a very good idea. Yeah. Very smart. Right. Almost got us killed. And uh, it was a horror show all night. Uh, crawled off the highway at five miles per hour for hours and hours and hours. Stop. Get it. What, what, what happened? What, uh, what the happened? Bear, the bear, now, I done the bearings last year on it, both sides. Yeah. Yeah, $500. Uh-huh. And uh, had bearing buddies put on it. I had uh, I had uh, grease uh, inserts put onto it the whole nine yards. So, it's, like, I take care of everything. And but anyway, yeah. uh, it looks like they it looks like they filled it up with sand. Uh, they took the hubs off and filled it up with sand. Uh, took it to grease ah. uh, per se, scooped it out, or they chiseled it. I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, it looks to me, as far as I'm concerned. Now I made a video 
bizarrely on Sunday before I left that I was worried about being assassinated because they they have taken away so many of my, of my, my, my rights in the court case. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, he barred me from using bananas, potato chips, and walking in the sunshine. He didn't use a court order to take down the two videos I'm accused of. He used YouTube accounts yeah. while I was in jail right. for 12 hours. But they gave me a court yeah. order to take down 300 videos. So why, why didn't he get a court order to take down the videos I'm accused of? And why did they bar me from using the videos in court? Uh, they're not allowed to use the videos. They're only going to use the transcripts of the sentences I'm accused of, but they're not going to have any context or anything like this. So I know I'm being set up. I, I know I'm being, I'm going to get thrown under that bus. Yeah, well, well this is the 299 videos that had nothing to do with allegedly making a threat have mm-hmm. to do with one video, right? Why yeah. take down the or get court order? You know, I mean... This is so much overreact. It's so much bias. Well, they're doing it to sweep all the evidence of uh, nuclear contamination, radiation contamination, death, environmental catastrophe, extinction event. Yeah, exactly. Documentation of the expedition for life, a lot of that got taken down. Uh, The expedition while I was on the ocean. And so, I mean, they got it. Yeah, go ahead. Which wheel did they take out? That was both, the driver's side. Them, right? on, uh, the driver's on the, side, but the other the side, was, side. Was, was, was destroyed too, yeah? Yeah. So yeah. they so crammed what you're thinking like, is I, that I they, never they put sand in there before, and the bearings that. just went to hell. Yeah, I never had enough money for uh, an event like this or even close to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, because yeah. that's, you know, I'm like, I, I raised money to do the things I've done. Yeah, and, uh, that's I just that's that my touch. Fifth, that's my fifth trip to court. That was $200 each way for the theories, blah, blah, blah. And so it bankrupted me by the time I got there and got back regardless. But with the yeah. accident and having the, the, you know, just the whole nightmare of finding mechanics. And, oh, man. Unbelievable. Yeah, so they're trying to flip your car if they're doing the front. Oh, front yeah, they would have wrote the whole thing off. slow you down. But they, they want to flip the car. But lucky you had that ramp. Said, I mean, you had no that way. Boat There's no way we should have pulled off. Off. We should have lost everything on the highway. And they got all exactly. kinds of tow trucks. They say they clean up these messes all the time. Those wheels will come mm-hmm. right off and go flying. I had exactly to catch it. I point. seen the wobble. I felt it. I looked. I seen the fire. Yeah. I was like, wow, we're in so much trouble at 120K. And uh, You were well, doing 120K? Major traffic all the way. Wait, 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 wait. You were at the 120K mark or? Doing 120 kilometers an hour when it happened. You were doing 120. What's that in miles per hour? Um, 70. Okay. So you had a, an actual fire broke out on the, in the, uh, in the, in, in the, the rear end of, yeah, in the, of the boat trailer. Cause it over, it, I got it. You would have lost the boat. You would have lost everything. Yeah. Well, would, well not only that, I would have flipped it. I should have yeah. lost the wheel. The wheel should have come off. The mechanic came in this morning, got no idea why that wheel was still on it. Yeah. Right. He said that, well, the, that's actually unbelievable. the boat tra- the boat totally trailer just, probably saved your life. That probably kept the car from flipping. So you know? Yeah, uh, that I think probably so. probably saved your life. You know? As, uh, you'd be thanks to your boat. You know? uh, that's a blessing that the trailer was on because uh, that was some I'm drag lucky. weight on some yeah. 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 All right, exactly. hold on just a minute, uh, guys. We've got to take a break. We'll come right back. Hang on. to Yoshi and Dana. Uh, Dana tried to go to court, couldn't make it for reasons that are uh, more than suspicious. Uh, glad he's okay. What did the court say? Did they reschedule you? Yeah, that was kind of interesting. The prosecutor, uh, what, some of the hounds were in court wait, looking for me to, to support me, and I didn't show up. And so uh, after court, the first court, uh, they rescheduled it. And uh-huh. so then I got another hound phoned me up, and the um, prosecutor was there. And so I talked to the prosecutor. My first words to the prosecutor was, I almost died because of you, because of these false charges. I said, I won't be there today because I'm broke down, and I'm, and I'm in this trouble because of what you've done to me. I like I stuck. But he uh, accommodated me, no problem. He reached, he, uh, we were going here with a trial on September the 20th, 21st and 22nd. Uh-huh. He, he appointed a lawyer, a firm. Blah blah blah. I gave for you. A number for, for you. me. Yeah, yeah. All right. So 
Look, well, I talked maybe, to maybe, they, lawyers maybe they, does it, Dana, does this mean they're going to back off a little bit? Like, it, like what I, what, you know, you can read this many ways, I suppose. In some ways, I wouldn't be surprised if you knew what happened to me already uh-huh. and if he was part of it because of what he's done and the things that he had done in courtrooms to me. And on the other side of it, you know, I don't know what to make of it. I'm still in shock. I'm still, I'm still upset about it. And like, I was very suspicious of everybody since this has happened to me because I'm, I'm surrounded by strangers down there and on the theory, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And so I, I see a change in myself over it is, but like that, that wasn't supposed to happen. That shouldn't have happened. And that I'm not, I, I'm on top of things that, as far as like two weeks ago, I was on the bearings. The, the bearings were fine, and I was get, I'm getting ready for another expedition at the end of this week. I'm taking off for no. Three you're weeks meticulous in your planning and you're taking yeah. care of all details. We know that. That's how I do things. Yeah, I'm always yeah. everything is written down. Everything is checked all the time. Everything is normal. It's all in the log books. And but uh, the prosecutor, no problem at all. Uh, you know, just I was supposed to be there today. They were going to issue a warrant for me if I wasn't there this morning, allegedly. But he told me. Now he argued with me about it uh, briefly. But he had told me that if I didn't show up, uh, I didn't have to show up because they were just appointing a lawyer for me. I said, No, I'm going to show up. But uh, there's a different story this morning where apparently I could have had a bench warrant out for me. And now I didn't even care this morning. I didn't care about court at all. I was because of what happened last night, and I had to go find mechanics. I don't have the money. I had to call up a friend yeah. here in town and get him to, to oh, fund all of that for me. Yeah. And now i got to pay all that back, of course. Uh, I'm, I'm and, curious about him appointing a law firm to represent you. I, now, he's not – I'm sorry. Let me back that up. He's, they're not representing me. Uh, they're helping me because um, I'm defending myself, right? All right. Now, they're going to counsel you on how to, how to proceed. Okay. Right. I can't cross-examine um, – the two main uh, monsters, but uh, so the lawyer has to do that. But I direct the lawyers for each and every question. So I'll, like, I'll all be right. all, well, all, all right. over these people. I'll be all over these people. These oh, people yeah. Oh, yeah. Two inches yeah. Um, of my space ever. They will do what I tell them to do and that only. I can assure you they won't speak their own minds ever. They're, they're not, I'm not taking a chance on this one. But I don't think it's going to trial. I can't imagine them going to trial. I can't even, if I had to get down there today, we wouldn't be going to trial, period. And I put the video out on Sunday that proves that because I would have told the judge, you just got rid of my motive. You got rid of, of the context by the video. You got rid of the motive by the banana potato chips to walk the sunshine. How are you going to go to trial without a motive for context or a reason? Because you took away the expert witnesses from me, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. You demonized me in the media, call me a murderer, literally. And so it's pretty, completely prejudiced and it should never go to trial. And it's cost me a fortune. A fortune, five different trips down to this place on yeah. Vancouver on a series hotels each time. Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. It's insane what they got done to me. Uh, and like, but you know, this I raised two hundred dollars up there, down here. Down it doesn't catch. matter. The, this, this, the, know. the normal people are ground up and, and under the boot heel of fascist corruption, and uh, and they do kill people. Absolutely. Oh yeah, they're killing us now. <clears throat> well, well, Dana, can I give you a little advice? Sure. Uh, you need the full man- mechanic's report, but also then a separate letter of the mechanic's opinion, okay? Uh, the police report, if you got one, of the uh, if there was any police around the site. Oh, really- and then you got to look around for any witnesses in your area, usually convenience stores. You know, they keep an eye out. Uh, they may have a security cam out front of who might have drove in uh, when you weren't home. To do the sabotage on well, your we know vehicle, we, had, we know we know we had one of my biggest uh, uh, opponents out there, one of these vicious thugs out there, came into my community several weeks ago. There you go, right? Okay. And they put right. videos out on their website, yeah. Okay. Uh, and so, I, so I that covered, would be at least I that would it. be like a scouting a scouting visit. They would probably send someone out afterwards, right. a criminal out to sabotage. So you got to compile your evidence. I think you better just have, go to the you know, federal process. Uh, federal, yeah, you know, the federal, the the national level prosecutor, the the state's not going, to, you know, the province is not going to do a thing, it, you know, and a copy to the prime minister's office, right, and to the attorney general, whatever that's called, the chief litigator like the, for the government, federal. Like you got you got to really make this case very serious. Uh, you know, uh, the area you're in is very notorious for these. Uh, Former or off-duty police officers, you remember, they're, they're part of the black bloc that went to uh, Seattle during the WTO 
demonstrations and disrupted things, you know, pretending to be anarchists. Uh, a lot of hit jobs in the Seattle area are conducted by Canadian right. uh, retired well, policemen. F- false Fish false flag. They call us safaris. False flag statues. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> this, yeah. So uh, what happened to Jeff, what happened to you, could be ex- the same organization behind that like who that. just hired yeah. themselves out to the nuclear industry. Hire Stop themselves it. out to the nuclear industry, and they do the job on either side of the border. So I think you really got that complaint over. Maybe Jeff can do a supporting thing uh, on your accident, Jeff. So that you you sent right to the prime minister's office, the highest levels of the Canadian government, you know, and the governor general's office too. The you know the the, the uh, British representative, I, I the tweet crown representative. I, I also treat all kinds of uh, these people with the, the documentation, and so yeah, yeah, you know yeah, once yeah. you do that too many times, you become ostracized, and then all well, kinds of Well, this is very serious. This is this is a this is a sophisticated murder. murder. This is a murder. It is. So yeah, that, I mean they slashed so the bottom got, of my boat when I was going. I'm one expedition. Yeah, right? yeah, you got you got to show all the these incidents, forming a pattern. And these people obviously aren't just a well, bunch yeah. of fishermen who might be angry at you. This is an organized conspiracy by nu- nuclear industry, it and is. they're hitting it. Yeah, yeah, they're uh, notorious uh, thugs, and they have an incredible amount of money. And I don't need to tell you guys, obviously, but that is yeah. uh, shocking that I couldn't make it to court. That is shocking. That I went. Well, shocking, you're still alive. It's shocking. Yeah. No, it's shocking. But shocking me, that you're still. Alive. Life. That's what's shocking. Yeah. I'm worried about these people, so I'm paying attention to everything. Yeah. I'm paranoid. I'm just. They, they, I, I understand. They, you know, it was, it was an absolute fluke that you, uh, you know, towed the boat. Okay. Off. Yeah. No, it was too. You know, I mean, that probably saved your life. You know, it's a miracle. I didn't, I didn't announce I was going to do that. That's tomorrow. what I'm saying. Yeah. It's an absolute miracle. I did miracle text them a few that times here in to town. It's the boat. Yeah. Yeah. So they, 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 they're stalking me. Look, well, take it to the top all the way, because. You know, uh, it, it, this is like attempted, you know, murder assassination. It's a political, it becomes a political assassination. You know, uh, you've got to take it to the top all the way. I'm taking it to the top. I'm going out on another expedition. When we hit court, that's yeah. going to make sure the documentary coming to repeat home that. And then we'll right, tell us, that. tell us. I'll be able to tour and I'll be able to, I'll be in their communities. I can assure right. you. Dana, much. tell us how yeah, the right. documentary is progressing. And I hope you can get some credible. I, environmental organization to help you premiere it in some major theaters a special showing whatever uh this needs you've got to get somebody behind you that's got yeah. some clout i don't know who it would be i don't know who to suggest i don't have no idea uh but it's got to be done anyway so you know there is a group uh in in santa cruz i'll be doing Remember, a press release that'll be a press release well yeah well we'll run I'll, it i'll, I'll do we, every media yeah. on the planet okay myself. Right. I'll get every email. I'll call yeah. every one eight hundred number. You've got no uh, worries about Dana. Now there's a I, group. I once went after Canadian government. Here's what I've done. Mm-hmm. In four days, I had every email and every phone number of every radio station and every TV and every print in Canada. And I call them personally for the next two months nonstop about four people who got murdered by police here in uh, British Columbia, Canada. And so I went right after these people. And I never had a single reply. No one would tell the story. I had pictures. I had the witnesses. I had the families. Uh-huh. And I went after him hardcore. I contacted the RCMP in Ottawa, the RCMP in Victoria. Uh-huh. I contacted, I went way up the ladder, and I was vocal about it. I had signs in my windows for two years. And so, like, I don't hide away from anything or anybody. Okay, else. let me tell you, let me tell you something. An organization uh, in Santa Cruz, an environmental group, is a very, very sincere-sounding group. They wrote to me and they said, we understand you've got a product, Bio Superfood, that was supposedly... Uh, created to help the people at Chernobyl. It's proven. It's the only thing that will help rid the body of radiation accumulation, help repair damage, blah, 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 increase your nutrition, build your uh, defenses, all of that, your whole immune system. And they asked about that. And they said, you know, can you tell us about it? Is it real? Is it da da da? And I wrote them back and I said, absolutely, completely correct, uh, scientifically validated. And I put them in touch with uh, the owner of the product. These people in Santa Cruz, if you remember back, now rewind and go back. Do you remember when the first radiation, the first big cells were moving across the Pacific? What did the animals do? They tried to get away from it. 
Do you remember what happened in in, uh, Monterey Bay, Yoshi, and Santa Cruz? They had this enormous, unprecedented congregation of of sea life. Unbelievable. You can almost walk on the backs of the animals. Yeah, about a year and a half, two years after. Yeah, when the waters really started pumping in. Yes, and these people were spawned by that particular freak show of animals trying to get away, and they know what's happening. So now I'm going to say. It was like that when I was young, Jeff. Yeah, well, it was like that all the time. When yeah, I'm every saying, day I would slow the boat down for hours to avoid the whales because I was afraid to rudder off. Yeah, be, sure. Well, these yeah. Pe- these these animals were in there trying to find food, trying to find shelter, trying they to were. get away from the poison water. What I'm saying right. is, this group in in Santa Cruz might want to premiere your documentary down there. That's a really strong point. And there's so hey, many organizations hey, that that. Go ahead, Jeff. Uh, Yoshi, I'm you sorry. Know about that nuclear, you know about that nuclear blast in the late 1950s, right? And the Aleutian yeah, Islands? Yes, one. Or the Aleutian Islands, yes, I do. Yes, you, saw, you saw whales congregating. Yeah, there was a, a, a major nu- underwater nuclear blast that the uh, uh, Native American people in the Aleutian Islands are still complaining about. You know, right, the underwater blast on one island. The structure yeah, yeah, of the you have water to look that up. It was in the 50s. Yeah, structure of the water yeah, 2,000 yeah. miles away also changed for up to 2,000 miles away yeah. after that rear blast. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I tell you, if you saw these congregations when you were a child, that, that probably was the source. It was a massive uh, nu- underwater nuclear blast. I think it was a plutonium bomb. And, uh, you know, uh, the natives had to be evacuated away. It took them years to get back there. And they're still complaining about birth defects and things like that. So... Probably the that uh, was another cause. Pardon? The Marshall East just got yeah, twelve thousand dollars. Yeah. yeah, each the ones yeah, that, that had shockwaves I mean, for a decade. That had shockwaves uh, for a decade in the Pacific. Yeah, North and Pacific. what they found out was that yeah, uh, after these nuclear tests, um, your fresh water on land, in particular, your fresh water up to two thousand miles away changes its structure. That's a very yeah. interesting thing, say. Water, I mean, water is life, right? Water well, this is, is like the, you're talking about the, the Japanese researcher, uh, what the heck is his name? Doggone it. Who did all the water structure work. Uh, yeah. Koide? Yeah. No, 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 no. He did the structured water. He did the structured water experiments. Japanese researcher, a cameraman, he was a brilliant guy. He showed, in other words, you play rock and roll and the water takes on a certain molecular configuration. Uh, 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 right, okay. Okay. Scientists understand how to change the structure, and we can do that, but we don't know why it does that. But, like, water is the only one that exists in three forms, gas, liquid, and solids. Yeah. But water, I, I, and I'll just cut everybody off for one second, because I think this is really uh, important, is that water, if you, uh, you talk to water, there's an old one from uh, an old monk who was locked up in a prison, he was given dirty water and dirty bread, he prayed over and changed the structure of the water, and 15 years later, he was still perfectly healthy. But this was uh, seven, eight, nine hundred years ago. The story comes from. But when you look at the actual physical experiments, where they took the water out of the Andes, flew it by helicopter to the airport, flew it in to Berkeley, and gave it to to uh, terminally ill patients. He took blood samples out of the patients every twenty minutes and gave them a glass of water. So they took the first sample with no water, and after that, every twenty minutes, they took a sample, and they watched the blood on plate immediately with the first sample, and continued to do it. They watched the person become almost healthy again. And they say that the very wealthy don't wash their hands with soap. They wash it with structured water because it doesn't destroy the natural bacteria on your hand. But structured water... Um, Emoto. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Mm. Ma- Ma- Masaru Emoto is the scientist. Yeah. E- Emoto. Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. yeah, I'll look it up. Yeah. Well, plants grow 30% bigger, 30% quicker uh, with uh, structured water and quicker, right? You know, 30% quicker is fuels alone. And still have uh, 30% more of uh, foliage on it. Right. And it yeah. to the product. That's, that alone should, you know, really, and that's like uh, glacier water or really deep uh, spring water or mountain water has ran through all the natural rocks and stuff like this. Um, and certainly, you know, all ice, right? That's structured water. But if you put the chemicals in it or put a machine to it, it changes the structure to another structure that doesn't work with the human body. The same way. And water, of course, is full of life. It's not just water. It's full of actual life well, itself. Well, like, it's like it's figure a way to deionize the water that way. You can remove the radioactivity out of the water, you know, so if they can. I'm not sure. You know, I'm not, I know nothing about this area. Of, uh, no, I'm sorry. Well, we'll just, we'll jump, jump gears. I just wanted to throw that out just for everybody. When is the uh, documentary tentatively right. scheduled to be finished approximately? What do you think? 
right after court by the looks of it but i'm doing now i'm doing i'm gonna go and do three weeks on the ocean before court and i'm gonna try are you gonna get the yeah. documentary finished before you go back out to sea no because i'll be in a few days all and right. so when I come right after court is when the documentary will come out because I want to and tell how story. long I is it this story in the documentary okay how long is it it's going to be about 40 minutes good uh, good length but Great. everything I got chopped out I'm not, I, I made it complicated and then I did, went back to just telling the story and that seems to yeah. be appropriate right? I did, it's just so just and I, I know just you'll have story. as many before and after photographs or video segments yeah, as I, possible I can make like a hundred documentaries of it and stuff like that. Okay, and well that's still, crucial. When it, people see that, so much. it just knocks them over. And so, but it's so important that the whole story got told mm-hmm. at this time. For some reason, and I guess that's just the way it is. And it's, uh, it's I wanted to get it out just after I came home, you know that. And then who's, I got arrested. Who's, uh, who's doing the narration finished. on it? And so I don't know. Who's, do, who's doing the narration, Dana? I haven't decided how that is going to play out. Well, if you it's want a narrator, I'll do it for you. I haven't decided if there's going to be a narrator. All right. Things. If there is one, I'll help. But I, no, thank no. you, Jeff, by the way. Thank you for just saying that. I, I appreciate that. And I'll yeah. take that to her, too. Yes. And, uh, but uh, this time, I'm going to go up and run up and do interviews with uh, people in gas stations or fuel docks, uh, taxi drivers. I'm going right. to do everything I see with a camera for three weeks. And then at court on top of that. And then the documentary comes out shortly after that. And I got the equipment to pull it off. Oh, uh, yeah, I know you do. Burn me down first. But I'll yeah. get it if they destroy me. Because they kill nine computers in one year. I mean, I mean wow. how many computers do you buy a year, right? It's, it's ridiculous what they've done to me. Yeah. Uh, but that's stuff, yeah. I keep coming back. I just keep coming back. Yeah. I almost never come back last night, I can assure you. That, that was messed up. That should never happen. Uh, that should never happen. It can never happen again. Well, they know you can't check everything before every vehicle trip. No way. You just can't do it. No, I will. No, I will. Yeah. Oh, well, you would. But uh, it, the average person, no. They don't even think about it. I'm and you already did the person. You did the pre-check. You well, did the bearings. You have took care of that. You wanted to yeah. be sure. I was going to paint them. They match them up. with. Uh, uh-huh. And I didn't. Two weeks, right. three weeks okay. Before. Anything new on the biology? we got three minutes left. Anything new on the bio- biology of the, uh, of the extinction event? What's anything coming in? Hey, you know, I was on, uh, right sitting down by the ocean most of the day up uh, on Vancouver Island. There, there's nothing there. There's, just like, there's all kinds of people there. There was I, nothing yeah. there. And all I've been out. Came, came home along the shoreline. There was nothing there. there I've been one. out, same, working for a week outside when I can get out uh, two, three hours a day. I don't see any insects. No flies, yeah. nothing. I asked people this morning, walking by, uh, and how's the insects this morning? And uh, they, some of them looked at me like I had three heads, of course. Uh, and I said, I was just curious uh, how, how the insects are doing along here. And uh, everybody answered me. And most people just kind of brushed it off. And, uh, and all of them did, basically. But um, that's what I need to do for the next three weeks. Get out and get out there and get into people's face. Get it on camera whether they want it or not. And see. Because i got to tell that story. And we got to tell it now because there's nothing left out here. And uh, from what I'm hearing, like the insects, there's nothing on windshields. That's, a, that's going around this place here now heavily. Everybody's talking about it. Oh, well, they are. Happened. That's how they're winning the conversation uh-huh. now in Fukushima. Telling people, go check your windshield and come back and talk to me before you say something about Fukushima that's not true or something. Right. And tell me how many insects, and they all kind of like, what? Well, gee, that's right. I haven't cleaned my windshield forever. Damn, man, never even talked about it. So many people have come across instantly with that, just that single question, see? Because it's real. We all get that one. Right. See, I'm a diver for 14,000 hours, so I get the ocean, but most people can't understand anything like that, that, that I, you know, I want to talk about it, and I get that. But the insects, we all get that. We all scrub their windshields. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. All right. The mechanic, uh, the mechanic, the mechanic said today, because they went to my website, and he like, God almighty, God almighty, he said, man, he said, at least we had a life. He said, it's too bad about everybody else, but at least he got it right away. They went wow. over my the whole, the, all the mechanics and everything there. They got it mm-hmm. on their own. Mm-hmm. I knew that would happen. Mm-hmm. That was, that's why I wanted to park the boat in front of the courthouse. And they knew that's what would happen, too, if I got up there. So they probably dumped me on the ferry. Who knows? It's You never know. You'll never know. Nah. But Is you're okay. Sense? That's crucial. You're okay. Okay, well, let's uh, wind her down, Jeff. But, I mean, that's, yeah. After what? I don't know how many times did I almost die on the ocean? We had one of our donors was harassed till he committed suicide. Uh, the major donor originally. 
We've had all where I've lost two teeth in just like a few days period. I got violently sick. Lost here two teeth, two healthy teeth. And I'm like, unbelievable. I mean, and all these other, you know, my, my Zodiac getting slashed, the bottom of it. I go to the sea with that. And then I put it in the water and I'm going to shore and it's filling up with water. There's good waves. I'm in trouble. And I got no way to patch that. It takes 24 hours to patch it. And, like, you know, all of these things, they've tried many times. They had their goes at me. Uh, why don't you just kill me? Get it over with. Because then it looks like a murder. And then the questions will never stop. And people will come look at the material we done. And you, anybody who goes to the website and knows anything about marine biology. Go to nuclear, nuclear nuclearproctologist.org. Nuclearproctologist.org. Do your research. Look at the research there. And then make your decision. And marine biologists go and debunk it. And yeah. I'll give it all up because it can't be done. You can't go out and find the species that are not there anymore. This is only five years. And that there's thousands and thousands of isotopes and all the time about a CC-137 because it's a tracer. Meant everything else is there. Never told anybody that in their entire history. Every dog has died for 70 years. Every animal died within a few years of being given that. I and mean, now we do that to our children and our friends in the hospital. Yeah, killing me is no big deal. All right. We're running out of time, well, Dana. some rest there, yeah. Dana. And much your evidence. And, uh, this is a serious murder attempt. The nuclear industry murders a lot of people, but they're doing it. Well, this goes know, back to... I mean, this is just pure yeah. outlaw stuff. We, we got to get going. And it's Jeff, a, it's... you can murder on Jeff. This is just an outrage. But they, they well, it's like a Karen Silkwood. Uh, they, remember they killed Karen Silkwood. They, 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 yeah. they, they did. Absolutely. Hey, Dana, I'm, you I'm take care. All right. just came in the door and turned it on. All right. Thanks for being here. Great. Tiny perfect. Okay. Right, Good luck, yeah. you, man. Get some rest. Get some rest. You deserve it. All right. All right, uh, Yoshi, uh, a lot of stuff going on. Unrelenting nightmare. Unrelenting it's truly, nightmare. It truly is. Every direction you look, there, there's darkness. Yeah. Every direction you look. And we're just tired of this murderous regime. You know, we, I've written stories about that. The second yeah. attempt on Don Trump's life, uh, the guy with the block inside the Trump Tower, the media refuses yeah. to look at they won't they won't rebut it. They Nobody they will touch it. Down. Nobody will even talk no. about it. Look at they, Yoshi they don't go near it. Look at Yoshi's columnist box on the left hand side. Read the research, read the data, make up your own mind, but at least read and understand what's going on around here. It, it's look, it's not not good. Not good at all. All right, you take care of yourself down there. Yeah, very good then. All right, good. thanks. Bye bye. Okay, and, uh, well, quite a three hours tonight. I hope you paid special attention to the second hour, uh, the second half of that hour. Uh, remarkable. It's, it's what it is. It's what we're dealing with. All right, tomorrow night, uh, another program for you. Jim Kerwin, Gordon Duff, et cetera, and we move right through the week. Lots of very intelligent people with a... a Good analyses for you to consider as you make up your own mind. Talk tomorrow night. Thanks for being here.